Thank you for logging on to www.oes.co.uk. This video demonstrates the simple and easy procedure of installing an OES water filter. In the box you will have a water reservoir tank, the osmosis filter system, assembly kit, the tools you will need are a drill with a 7 or 8 mm drill bit for a plastic pipe, a 12 mm drill bit for drilling a hole in the sink, a spanner, a flat headed screwdriver, masking tape and PTFE tape. Please remember to turn your water off before you start. Remove the water tank from its wrapping. Apply PTFE tape to the male thread on top of the tank. And then screw on your valve until hand tight. Remove the pipe and cap on reverse osmosis filter housing. Remove reverse osmosis membrane from sealed packaging and insert reverse osmosis membrane into housing. Secure the cap on housing and reconnect pipe. Remove the cap with the orange colour coded pipe sticking out. Remove the orange pipe from the cap and insert one end of the full length orange pipe into the top of the cap with approximately 5mm protruding. Insert orange pipe into filter housing and screw cap back on until hand tight. Repeat this process with the black, blue and white pipes. Remove waste saddle connection from assembly kit. Bore a 8mm hole in the waste pipe. Make sure the hole is after the U-bend. Remove backing paper from foam seal and attach to waste pipe, making sure the hole is over the hole in the pipe. Undo the saddle valve and place over the waste pipe, making sure the holes are aligned and tighten the screws to make a firm connection. Remove saddle valve from assembly kit. If attaching to plastic piping, make sure you drill a 2mm hole before attaching valve. For copper piping, simply attach valve and this will self-pierce the copper itself. Attach the saddle valve, making sure the tap end of the valve is aligned with the 2mm hole. Tighten with a spanner for a firm connection. Remove tap from assembly kit and make up as follows on the video. Bore a 10mm hole where you wish your tap to be on your kitchen sink. Insert tap in hole and secure the nut and washer underneath with a spanner.
place the reverse osmosis filter unit under the sink and place the water reservoir tank onto its stand next to the filtration system. Make sure the pipes protruding from the filter system are tidy and out of the way. Slide the nut from the saddle valve over the end of the white pipe and attach the pipe from the filter system to the saddle valve, tighten with a spanner. Slide the nut from the filter tap over the end of the blue pipe and apply a small amount of PTFE tape to the top of the pipe. Insert the blue pipe into the end of the filter tap and tighten the nut with a spanner. Slide the nut from the waste saddle valve over the end of the black pipe and push the end of the black pipe into the drilled hole in the waste pipe. Make sure you leave about 6mm protruding into the waste saddle valve. Tighten the nut with a spanner. Slide the nut from the water tank valve over the end of the orange pipe and attach the pipe to the water tank. Tighten with a spanner. Turn the water back on. Press the black button on the filter tap for filtered water. You have finished installing the water filtration system. If you have a leak on any connections after you turn the filter on, use PTFE tape to resolve the issue. oes.co.uk also provide a chrome all-in-one tap. This tap provides your hot, cold and filtered water in one beautifully designed tap. It would replace the three taps on your sink for a simple and stylish solution of providing you with filtered water. To change a filter, make sure you turn the valve on the water tank to the off position and also turn the valve on the saddle valve to the off position. Using the round filter tool from the assembly bag, slide the tool over the filter housing you want to replace and turn in a clockwise direction. Unscrew the filter housing from the unit and remove the used membrane. Replace the used membrane and insert it back into the filter housing. Screw the filter housing back onto the unit and use the tool to tighten. Turn the two valves back into the on position. and then run the water for approximately two minutes to flush the water through the system. Thank you for watching OES installation video. Please visit www.oes.co.uk for more information.